And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Leon Rocky Edwards. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. One of the best in the business, Please Herb fight. Dean, is our referee tonight. Hey. All right, so here's the perennial welterweight contender, Leon Rocky Edwards. Nice to see him finally realize a championship opportunity there in Salt Lake City. This is a 5 2 player, though. A lot of people fancy him just a striker. Haven't watched all the film. Of that, I can assure you, he can wrestle, he can grapple, can even choke you out if need be. Going to be very interesting to see stylistically how he chooses to approach this matchup tonight. His knee to the body it looked like for a second it would get through, but that one is blocked. Oh, beautiful jab there from Leon Edwards. And if you don't know the name Leon Edwards, you're going to start to hear his name increasing. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. He needs fighter to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. He's in the mount. Edwards getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. Yep, got to be very careful there. Choice back in full mount. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. is in half goal. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Back and forth we go! Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's make it first. Straight punch lands. Big punch lands through the middle. Just missed with the left there. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Oh, he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh! It's a pretty fast jab. Just misses with the straight right. Sidekick, well placed. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Just over two minutes to go in the round. He gets to the single college. I look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Oh, nice inside kick. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by the Korean Super Bowl. Fighter blocks a punch. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. <laughs> Gotta love how it's playing out between these two offensively-minded fighters. Here. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Choi. Now a kick to the body. Big right hook coming. It's oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! 
So under a minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Edwards' his nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Really nice defense there. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, he's wobbling now. Final seconds of the round. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. So there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring and then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. <laughs> Left hand. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. Elbow blocked by Edwards. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. So that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business. And they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Big right hand there! Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Edwards is blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. To open up a little bit. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards, and as usual, DC letting his fighting do the talking tonight. Let this fight do the talking, man. He's all business. He's a businessman. He's here to win, go back to England, and do his thing with his family. He's not going to be on the He's a guy that's here to do his job and then go back home until he gets the title fight. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of winning. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great place. Well, he rocked 
rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really set down and try to make one. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got to hurt. He's got to hurt. He's got to hurt multiple times. It's one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered to nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though them, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Man, this is crazy thus far. High volume, high pace. And a huge punch being landed there. Let's get someone on this All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, that is the end of the round, and some definite adversity for him here, or so you would think the cut on the bridge of the nose is only getting worse, and that nose might even be broken at this point in time. So certainly something that bears watching as we enter this next round. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues Ready to attack fight. it as he should. Ready. He did the damage. Good. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He's a bit lax in defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check one, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Great block there. Oh, a thunderous leg kick grabs his opponent, flipped it a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Both had to start over. Edwards has been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. <laughs> Blocks the shot. He's got the single collar tie. Just misses with the left hook. The single leg takedown, well played. Yeah, he's in half guard here. All right, feet on the hips here. Choi gets up, he is back on the feet here. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Edwards' cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Relax. 
choice. Attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Just over two minutes to go. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, nice knee. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's... Oh! Oh, he hurt him again. Nice block. Back and forth we go. Edwards is cut on his nose, does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. You gotta think the ringside physician is gonna get called in here in a moment. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korea Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division.